Welcome to the El Dorado County Cold Case Task Force informational videos. Recently, we shared a video about the senseless murder of gas station attendant Manpreet Singh. Manpreet was shot in cold blood as he worked at the U.S. gas station in South Lake Tahoe on August 8, 2013. The motive for this murder is still unknown, but thanks to media coverage and the community's willingness to help, several promising tips have come in and detectives have new leads to follow. This case involves the mysterious disappearance of longtime Fairplay resident Charles Thompson. Charles was a lifelong El Dorado County resident. After spending summers at the Thompson family ranch as a child, Charles and his family moved onto the ranch when he was 10 years old. He lived on the large property with many members of his tight-knit, extended family, and he attended local El Dorado County schools. As an adult, Charles worked as a logger in and around El Dorado County for many years. He was an avid fisherman. He loved to fish local rivers rivers, lakes, and ponds, as well as the Sacramento River. Charles loved fishing. Charles loved hunting. Charles loved going out and meeting people. He rarely met a stranger. In 2015, Charles was living with his family on the Fair Play Ranch, spending most of his time at home with his elderly father. His two adult children, a son and daughter, had moved out and were living on their own. Charles had left his logging career, but still worked odd jobs working on cars and working on the family property. And he was still devoted to helping those neighbors and family members in need, which is exactly what Charles was doing on the day he disappeared. On October October 2nd, 2015, Charles told his father that he was helping a friend move to Modesto. He had just gotten paid from one of his odd jobs. He made sure to leave money for his father to pay the rent. Charles took the remainder of the money and went on to help his friend. Charles was last seen pulling out of his family home with an unknown, dark-skinned white female who was driving a late model white SUV. Charles' family has not heard from him since. His concerned family reported Charles missing on October 10th, 2015, after they had not heard from him for days. He always called his sister Kim and his sister Kelly, and he would always call and say, okay, yes, I'm gonna be gone for a couple of days, but I'm in wherever he was, you know, I'll be back. But instead, we never heard another word. Deputies began their search for Charles by attempting to identify the unknown female who drove Charles from his home. Deputies contacted anyone who knew Charles, but no one seemed to have any concrete information. But there were rumors that Charles had been in Amador County. From this, investigators obtained phone and bank records in an effort to help track Charles' steps. Through his bank records, investigators learned that on October 2nd, the day he left his home, Charles went to Gray's Market in Somerset. From there, he traveled to the El Dorado Savings Bank in Diamond Springs. Two hours later, Charles checked into the Best Western Hotel in Jackson, California. Charles' bake activity ended there, at the Jackson Best Western. When detectives traveled to that Best Western, they learned that Charles had in fact checked into the room on October 2nd. Employees remembered that Charles was with the white female at the time, but detectives were unable to locate any surveillance video that could have shown who the unknown woman was. Charles and the female checked out of the hotel on October 3rd at approximately 12.30 p.m., and this was the last time detectives were able to definitively establish that Charles was seen. Through information obtained as the investigation continued on, detectives believe that Charles was near the Kennedy Trailing Wheels Park in Jackson on October 3rd at 3 p.m. And this is where the trail ends. Investigators have been unable to track Charles from this point on. He loved to help people. If anybody needed help moving or doing anything, anything, he was always there. Everybody knew to call on Charles. Did Charles Goodhart lead to his disappearance? Who was Charles with on October 2nd, and who was he planning to help? Where did he go after Jackson? Did he meet someone else at the park? Was this a sinister act, or was there an accident? These are the questions we are hoping to find answers to in an attempt to bring closure to the Thompson family. We are coming together to ask the community's help for any information leading to our beloved family member. Please, any information is always helpful, and a reward is to be given to any persons or persons that can give us information and bring Charles back home. It has been almost two years since we last saw him, and we are turning to you to ask for help for our family. Investigators from the El Dorado County Cold Case Task Force are asking for the community's help and your help in locating Charles Thompson. If you have any information about what happened to Charles Thompson, or if you think you know the woman Charles was with, please call the El Dorado County Cold Case Task Force at 530-621-4590. All tips can remain confidential. And remember, the friends and family never forget, and neither should we.